This is an overview of the content accordion widget by Unlimited Elements for Elementor. Let's get started. To get started, you're going to want to make sure that you have Unlimited Elements for Elementor installed and activated on your WordPress website. Unlimited Elements is a widget library for Elementor. The widget library is separated into categories and today we're going to talk about the content accordion. You can search for the accordion over here in the search. I'm going to write content accordion. You can see that filters only the relevant widgets. Hover over the widget, click install, and that will add it to the widgets pane inside of Elementor. Let's jump inside of Elementor and go over all the settings that are related to this widget. So again, I'm going to search for content accordion, drag that inside, and as you can see, it's an accordion that has content inside, and the content is separated into a title, some text, and a button. The first setting is for first appearance, and I don't know if you noticed, but the first item was open. So that's first open. Let's check out what we have else over here. So all closed will load the accordion with all the items closed inside of it. As you can see now, all the items have been loaded closed. The next setting is for all open. Now the accordion will open with all the accordion items open by default. So that's pretty nifty. The next option is close item when others open. So let's check this out this time with all closed. And the default is that when you click, next time you click on a different item, the one above will close. If I turn this option off, what it will do, it will allow me to open multiple items simultaneously. So that's about that. Scroll to head is used so when a heading is open the browser will scroll to that for that i need to add some scroll to the page so let's just add an empty section and give it fit to screen so we have some scroll over here and i'm going to do this actually i'm going to show it on mobile so let's go to mobile and as you can see over here inside of the settings I can choose scroll to head only on mobile and now when I click over here it will scroll to that item head so what users were asking us is how can I make my browser scroll to the opened item once a user opens it so that's for that option you can also set an offset if you have a header or something like that you, a sticky header on your website you might want to add an offset the next part is for the placement of this icon over here we can place that at the end which sometimes suits the design depending on your needs layout inside of layout we can turn on or off different parts of the accordion so show title is for the title over here so you can turn that off if you want to and you don't have to show that also the button can be turned off and we can change the HTML tag to whatever HTML tag that we want over here so by default it's a div if you're looking for SEO stuff you can uh, set it to be any one of the H uh, tag HTML tags over here we can change the close and open icons this can also be an SVG and there are also settings for connecting to remote control and syncing which is stuff that i will also show in the tutorial so let's actually add a different column so i'm going to add a new column and let's add let's actually turn on inside of the accordion let's go to the accordion settings and i'm going to enable remote connection now let's go into general and go for first open because that looks better and now I'm going to add some remote control widgets so the first widget I'm going to add is remote arrow so I'm just going to throw that inside of my layout and now you can see that I can use the remote control to navigate between the headings over here I suggest that you turn off so 
only one item can be shown at a time and you can see that how nicely I can navigate using the arrows. Another type of remote control is remote bullets. I'm going to add that over here and now I can use bullets to navigate my accordion. The bullets also support option to show numbers inside. Once I've added the numbers I'm going to make my bullets larger let's say 40 pixels on 40 pixels let's change the active one to 40 80 and now I can navigate between the accordion items using these bullets another type of remote is the remote counter the remote counter shows on which item is open so we have one from four is open and if I change this it's two from four three from four etc so that's about remote controls and you can do a lot of stuff with it it gives a lot of power next part is for jump to item link in jump to item link what you can actually do is add links on your page and a link can open an accordion item the way the link needs to be is just a regular ahref link with a certain class and two types of data data name which is the name that you put over here and data number we've also included something that you can just paste inside of the elementor buttons so for example i'm going to add a button and over here if you do link options you can paste that string over here I'm not going to show that right now but in general what this meant for is for example if you want to click on the button and open a certain item in the accordion awesome next part I'm going to show is how to sync the accordion to a different widget so I'm going to turn on sync over here and let's delete our remote navigation and instead of that I'm going to add a different widget which is actually the hotspots widget because I think this looks really cool with the hotspots widget but by the way you can sync this to any item based widget that we have inside of unlimited elements just take in mind that if you're going to sync widgets you need to use unlimited elements widgets uh, inside of Elementor you also have a hotspots widget but that won't work with that hotspots you need to have this part connect widget settings and enable it so right now once I turn both of these on and they are in the same sync group as you can see over here they are connected so let's go over here just make sure the sync group is the same and I think we're all set now as you can see we're getting an error there's a red border around this and what that error is saying there is not the same number of items in our hotspots as there is in our accordion so just to finally sync those I'm going to duplicate this four times and now they're actually synced together now my hotspots are one on the other so let's just move these to different parts of the design inside of the style tab and I'm going to do this really roughly just so you guys don't need to wait you can give each one a number or a different title or something like that so that's that how that comes out let's give this one number three move that a little bit to here and looking good and let's do the last one which is going to be number four now to view this and to see how it works we're going to need to save and open this inside of the front end view so I'm going to click preview and now we can test this out so I'm going to click on number three and as you can see that opens item number three if I click on number four that opens item number four number two opens number two and this is synced together so if I change between the accordion items it also shows the active item over here 
And of course, each hotspot can have its own tooltip, its own colors. You can do a really a lot of awesome stuff. You can connect this to an accordion, to tabs, to a slider, and achieve really advanced, creative, unique layouts. So that's for that. We can get rid of this for now. And let's jump into the style settings. So actually, before style, let's go into item and see what we have over here because we also over here have something really nifty which is the content type right now the content type is text as you can see it's the text that we're showing over here but we could change the content type to template and now I can actually load a different layout inside of my and inside of my accordion item so you can just choose whichever uh, item you want to add over here and now I have a carousel inside of my accordion and you can load anything inside of this I mean it's just an Elementor template of course you do need Elementor Pro for it to create those templates and you can load anything inside of your accordion which is also something that a lot of you guys have been asking how can I do that so that's the exact way how you can do it perfect so I think we went over everything over here of course you can add your content you can add a link to the button change the button text as we talked about earlier let's jump into style and in style we also have a lot of advanced settings over here so for example I'm going to start from the heading and if I want I could make my heading rounded so that looks awesome already now these are sticking together so if I want to separate them I'm just going to add some bottom margin and cool that looks awesome already so you can go over all the different settings and each part of here is in charge of something else let's do the icon background as well so maybe let's give that a background like this which is also pretty cool and you can give an active background so if you want the active background to be different so users can know which one is open you can do that as well you can give this a border radius also to make it rounded you can add some padding to the heading so the icon isn't so close etc etc so really you can do a lot of stuff with these and and whatever you, you can imagine you can create so we've tried to add all the settings to make every layout literally possible I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and I'm going to see you in the next video